Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we're uh, into the uh, cleanup mode on the uh, plasma table, and uh, we've already lift, lifted out the grill or the grate uh, assembly here, and uh, we've drained out the water out of the main table, and we got to drain out our sump, uh, and uh, we're just getting started on it. Uh, I've had a YouTuber ask me uh, about the uh, cleaning process, and. Uh, you know, I kind of replied I hadn't done it in about two months, and I it, it was getting time to uh, to get at it again. Now, the first time I cleaned it out, it really didn't have that much use. I mean, you know, we're talking about an hour, hour and a half worth of cutting time on it. Most of that was stainless steel, aluminum, uh, and that not too much steel. Now, I pretty much all of that child's job was steel work, and uh, and I had a few other pieces in there that was steel as well. And the the table <laughs> and the sump looks a lot different. Here's a glimpse at that. A little more uh, rusty color looking, huh? And uh, you know we get down in here and we can see around in a lot lot more debris in around the inside of the air chamber as well. That's just telling me that this angle right here is curved in and we got a little bit more bouncing close to here and of course this is just flaking off here just like that it's no biggie but I think I'm gonna be changing this also it's got a white color like it's uh, electrolysis or it's uh, oxidizing so I think uh, I'm gonna take some measurements and we're gonna order up some stainless steel and I'm just gonna come up at that 45 and then straight up for about a half inch lip and I think we're, we're still going to catch the water that we uh, put this on here and designed it for but we're going to get a little bit more of that debris to fall inside the water and water tends to leach up through the dirt and this gets a little sweating and dripping right along this edge right here now the grill we you know we kind of pick up our stuff here's a few little remainders that we didn't and uh, a couple little slugs you can see a couple here that fallen through the grill and uh, you know this is just loose particles up here but it is nice that all of this is down below the plates and none of this dirt none of this filth is floating around in my shop Right around Christmas time, I went ahead and washed and cleaned all my windows. And, uh, you know, white walls, except for the grinding and stuff, uh, everything pretty well stays pretty nice and clean. I just got a uh, clean out tee that I'm going to be plumbing up here. We're going to add in the second pump tonight, or as soon as I get done with this table cleaning. Well, we're just starting off with uh, sweeping down the, the real coarse stuff here. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pull out this inner tray now, which is basically just our catch screen for our large particles. And we're gonna get it outside and we can we can brush and rinse it off with the garden hose outside. Alright, here's the uh, stack of uh, top cowlings and uh, you can see the hydrocarbons are, are built up underneath there and there again it's showing that everything's drawn and down below and nothing's floating around in the shop all right with the grill out now we get a good look at what's in here the build up there is only about an eighth of an inch deep there and we got a little bit deeper sludge here but it's all loose All right, so we're gonna grab the shop back and scraper, and we're gonna suck this clean. Now you can see that 
most of the rust color is just on the top, but it comes right back to stainless steel bottom. So that's just the hydrocarbon in the water creating their own rust. say stainless steel tray is the only way to go. Uh, real quicky uh, back on that on the, the back side here. It's where all my drains and uh, water level and the inlets and all that. We're gonna go around the other side and suck up that side. scrubbed it up outside there um, just a stiff uh, scrub brush and rinsing off with water got it this clean and uh, we're not going to worry about taking all the black gray out of there and that and staining the staining that's in here that's uh, uh, you know 10 seconds uh, of cutting it's going to get it you know a little bit more than that but we get all the particles and the granules and all of that out of here so let's put some water in here on our gears, racks, and all that stuff. But, uh, now we're getting, getting down to it. Uh, table is 100% back together. New fresh water. 
we're all cleaned out in the bottom cowling's all around the top now you look how bright and brilliant my blue my yellow and all of those components even the anodized aluminum on the siding there if all the hydrocarbons were coming up above the table that would be totally destroyed and it would look just like what's underneath when uh, <laughs> we got to the bottom of the pit okay so the draft suction is working great on my machine and these components on the top your motors your slides your rollers your gears all of these components on the top side are going to last much longer without hydrocarbons uh, clogging them up wearing them out before time well we're all wrapped up on the uh, table and while we're at it today we chased down we got another uh, clean out tee that's what these uh, double sweep tees are uh, designed for is cleaning out on septics if you got an access hole for uh, snaking out your lines that's what it's for and that's what I, I, I wanted to duplicate they draw nice uh, got the elbow and another piece in here this pumps all hooked up now you can hear this pump is much larger in size but it's a slower RPM and it's a little quieter We have enough draft on our table now, that's for sure. Get her done.